All right, so we're back into Figma and uh, now we're going to create the dashboard design. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these elements and we're going to copy and paste it using Command C and Command V. I'm also going to bring here the keyboard so that you can see exactly each and every uh, key which uh, um, I use in combination. So let's uh, go over here and uh, we're going to get, get rid of uh, all of this and uh, we're going to create uh, a new um, color for the main fill. So we're going to use white in this instance and uh, we're also going to use uh, a line item right here. So we're going to draw a line all the way in order to create uh, the very top uh, separation for the top level menu. Now I'm going to make this lighter and uh, probably something around uh, this could work well. I'm going to duplicate it so that uh, we have a duplicate of this by using Command C and Command V. And uh, let's bring uh, this line right here. So we can create uh, also the side menu. Now I want to create uh, a square in this section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line right here so that we can uh, have this nice uh, uh, separation. Maybe let's make it even more pronounced. We're going to have a big side menu. And uh, that uh, I think will work well. Okay, now what we need to do is to actually drag and drop one of these text elements, which uh, is going to be uh, a lot regular. Again, it's a free Google web font, which you can download on the Google website. And uh, you can simply Google for, for that. You're going to find it right away. And now we're going to create a dark version of the text. Let's bring it here. And we're going to write uh, overview. Let's make uh, this one bold. Let's duplicate this. We're going to write reports. Let's bring it more on the right. Now let's use Nucleo icons again, which is uh, one of my favorite uh, um, resources in order to find the icons. We're going to write uh, world. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to leverage one of these uh, um, icons right here. Probably let's go with this one, the reports. And let's select uh, um, one of these really. Maybe this one will, will do the job. Actually, let's also use this one instead of the previous one for the overview. Let's bring them right here to the center. Now let's make uh, both of them uh, uh, bigger using the scale tool. And here we go. All right. Now I would like to make these uh, icons lighter. Let's bring more this towards the left so that they are more attached. And now let's also search for a search icon. And we just need something basic here. Something like that would work. And uh, also a filters, why not? <coughs> All right. Let's search for a Nemo icon as well. And then we're going to add uh, um, another icon and uh, let's make these uh, ones bigger in the meantime so like this uh, let's unframe them and let's make them uh, light gray perfect all right so let's bring it all the way to the right now we're also going to create uh, an oval shape just like this one. And uh, let's use uh, the plugin called uh, Content Reel in order to find an avatar. Let's 
go under images and uh, yeah, let's try this one right, right here it's uh, quite light uh, and uh, like the balance in the composition and uh, here we go all right uh, now that we have uh, our base uh, top level menu we need to create uh, the uh, menu on the left so again we're just going to drag and drop uh, a few different uh, icons which uh, might suit well a site menu and uh, let's write something like dashboard I think that it's gonna yield some interesting icon choices and uh, let's try something different um, this one right here so it's a little bit too big at the moment for sure and uh, let's write also analytics and so you can see the main theme here we're just like uh, going around searching for some uh, some interesting icons that could work well in uh, any given context it's a fun icon like this one here and uh, probably want to avoid these or related icons in a in such a platform let's this one and uh, some of these ones here not too fond about let's add one of these okay so we have our basic icons now again what we want to do is to try and uh, make them uh, all alike so I'm going to set the constraints of proportions gonna make them 20 in width actually let's make it <coughs> just a little bit smaller so and maybe 18 uh, it's gonna do the job let's unframe these uh, let's make them gray and let's uh, distribute it vertically and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a trick so let's bring uh, this icon right here distribute vertical spacing again as you can see we can create this nice uh, um, spacing in between the icons by using this vertical spacing just a few times all right uh, I'm actually going to add it even more so that it's even more pronounced and probably for for these icons I'm gonna make them uh, just a bit bigger since we have a lot of space and I want uh, these icons to be more pronounced uh, in uh, the interface as a whole all right so we have uh, our base going for this uh, for this dashboard and uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to actually add uh, some sort of uh, a logo on the top so i'm going to create this circle right here and uh, i'm going to make the fill white let's add a stroke just like this one and i'm probably going to go with a linear gradient for this one and create uh, um, some some color combination which is a mix between a, a light blue and uh, a darker blue so I think this is interesting let's make it just a little bit smaller and I'm probably going to just duplicate this this line right here and make it smaller as well and just add a little divider line in between uh, the logo and uh, the main icons so we can keep that uh, visual differentiation between uh, these elements all right i just select all of this center it just to be sure all that is uh, 
um, pretty much set. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and select this element right here. So I'm going to make it this blue. I'm going to increase the stroke just so that it's more visible. I'm going to make it the same. And then and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle around this, bring it all the way to the bottom, make it blue, and then give it 10% opacity. All right. Now I'm, I probably want to select both of these and just make it bigger um, simply because I want to give it more emphasis visually. And also a nice touch that we can uh, do is to actually add a linear gradient, which is going to go from here to here. All right, quite happy with this and um, how it's uh, evolving essentially. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a logout section. So let's uh, search for <coughs> logout. Let's bring this icon right here. You can also use the Google material icons. Um, if you don't see these ones in Nucleo, if, uh, some of these are premium, so it's totally fine. Or you can simply leverage uh, the source file and uh, use the icons from the source files. So that's going to be an easy uh, way to basically overcome that. All right. Um, now another thing that uh, we want to add uh, is some sort of a notification icon for the, mainly for the emails. So let's go over here, let's add the notification icon color <coughs> and uh, also a small arrow, which is going to be useful for the main uh, um, top level menu. So let's actually go with this one. I'm going to copy this, paste in uh, this arrow, and I'm going to bring uh, all of this more towards the right. Let's zoom out in order to kind of maintain uh, the overall sight uh, on uh, this. And uh, now let's uh, go on uh, and uh, let's create uh, the basic structure for the for what is about to come. So it's going to be the main top section. That we're going to have uh, three elements right here. And then we're going to have uh, the master component uh, here on the bottom. All right, and this is going to serve us uh, as uh, a base uh, in order to work around this. So the very next thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring uh, this element here. So we have the text and uh, now let's make it uh, the same color, actually we're going to make it even darker in this case. We're going to write uh, something around the lines of the world's uh, leading. Uh, then we're going to write uh, crypto um, software. Let's make uh, all of this uh, capitalized. Also make it black and uh, just a bit smaller. All right. Let's increase the line height just a little bit. And also this element right here. I'm going to add uh, some text. going to remove a few. By the way, I'm using uh, 
a text in order to add some snippets of text. Here I'm adding some, uh, basically some, some gibberish text just to kind of get the feeling overall. And uh, I'm also going to add uh, a call to action of some sort. Um, let's probably go with this one right here. Or actually, let's use these two. Let's make the text also a little bit smaller. And over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one blue and the stroke of this one blue as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So <clears throat> let's change this one to start now and this one to view exchanges and by doing that uh, we have uh, our basic uh, text going for this um, for this dashboard all right now it's time to go ahead and create uh, these uh, elements right here so overall I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and uh, probably going to go with uh, an approach around the lines of uh, creating one and then we're going to simply duplicate these uh, these elements um, along the canvas <coughs> and uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much it so let's go over here, let's round up the corner. So the stroke, the fill is going to be white. And uh, or actually, let's just add the drop shadow. <coughs> let's make it quite pronounced. I'm going to use some of these uh, colors as the base. Yeah, something around these lines could work well. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Maybe just a bit darker. All right. I'm going to lock this layer. So I'm going to duplicate this element right here and bring it over all the way here, bring it all the way to the top. <coughs> and uh, let's write here Bitcoin. I'm going to drag and drop uh, this uh, Bitcoin element. And I'm going to assign it a color like this one and let's write uh, the text so bitcoin <laughs> let's say it's a bit too big let's make it maybe 14 and here we're going to write the variation <clears throat> so 5.2% we're going to grab uh, one of these uh, elements right here, which we previously created, and bring it all the way here. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to add uh, some sort of uh, a graph. Let's try and create uh, <coughs> regular intervals for this. 
I'm going to kind of like ballpark the sizes. It's not going to be perfect. But as long as we're there, more or less, so we're good. All right. Let's make this Bitcoin just a little bit smaller. <coughs> Bring it there. And let's add uh, a few very small, tiny bit, tiny ovals. the graph let's bring one here and one here <coughs> and another one right over here okay so I'm noticing that for example this one is not as pronounced so can you have to add another one here and we are good to go. Now, pen tool again. Let's uh, draw on top of this. And the reason being is uh, going to make sense in just a second. Um, Right, we need these two guys to connect. So let's bring it here and boom. Have a connection. Let's remove uh, the stroke. Let's add a fill, which is going to be this one right here. And let's add a linear gradient. Let's make this one very light. And uh, we have uh, our and the style that we were looking for. All right, so we have uh, our basic graph over here, and uh, we also have uh, our Bitcoin element right on top. Let's make this one bold. And let's uh, write a value, just 07 September. Let's make it light all right so far so good now at this point i'm going to select this element unlock it group all of this together remove these two elements bring this one here on the right make a duplicate here on on, on, the, on the left and <laughs> on the right right and left <laughs> so all right it's all good now I'm also not saying that these should be changed let's change the stroke being this value right here and uh, we're pretty much set um, I would say that at this point uh, we are ready to move forward in uh, the um, uh, part two of the video.